Peace. It's Black Dot, author of Hip Hop Dakota. You already know what it is. Big shout out to Boom Bap Nation. We coming hard. Word. finish up a new book, uh, Urban Culture Decoded, uh, the ultimate guide to understanding our youth and the crisis that they're facing here in America. I felt it was needed to break down our way of life, which is just a little bit more different than uh, the average person's way of life. So drugs in our hood is an institution. I hate to say it. It ain't going nowhere. So we have to find ways to navigate through that. Uh, the sneaker generation, uh, like for instance, I wouldn't stand on, 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 the, on the corner for two and three days waiting for some sneakers, but this generation does. They see the artistic value in sneakers, and they also understand that our feet represent our ability to move forward and travel. So psychologically speaking, a fresh pair of kicks for them means that they go in places. So we as adults have to stop pointing the finger so much and look at this from a metaphysical standpoint, a spiritual standpoint, and try to really get to the core of what's going on with our youth. So I'm putting together this whole book that's gonna break down culture as we see it. It's gonna break down what's the difference between hip hop and rap, and it's gonna go through a, a litany of things that I feel are important for us to understand. And it's basically gonna be a guide for parents, teachers, mentors, ministers, the ones who are dealing with youth on an everyday basis who perhaps have gotten out of touch. You know, because this, this is the biggest gap I've seen between us and our youth since I've been on the planet. Usually there's always some kind of connection and I feel rap music in particular has kind of created a wedge between keeping the science going of who we are as a collective because this generation don't even know who Nat Turner is. They don't even know who Emmett Till is. So when Lil Wayne mentioned it in the song, they had no idea who he was talking about. So I feel it's very important that we continue to uh, bridge the gap, make it close again, but as parents and teachers, we can't be pointing a finger and just blaming them. We have to reconnect with them, and that's what the book is going to be about.